these days now question which end if you do not they like you know so you shall say if three arrow equal to 18 what is the value of six arrow plus three normally every student will just think, think higher which is the one for this one they know if it's how should you people to carry this is my question which which of these answers answer go correct so they say three arrow equal to 18 waiting the value of six arrow plus three now I see six arrow here yeah now three arrow will come here I want to make sure that I get the six arrow. I wanted you now to multiply two by this one. You will give me this one. I know if you just multiply two by this one, I'm not going to multiply by the anything you do for left, you do for right. I do now. Uh -huh. So two times six arrow, two times three arrow will give us six arrow equal to 18 times two will give us 36. But the question now, what if the value of six arrow plus three? If I don't get six arrow here, six arrow plus three, meaning I will add this answer plus three, and that one will give me waiting. 39 and the answer be that <laughs> like answer be that some people option b i mean you will like this video share and make students where they struggle for this sad problem or igcse or gcse or they're sorry for why let them follow like this thing no we like you all this positive we let like see and i learn now some people when they say like this they will say three arrow equal to 18 divide by three divide by three this will cancel arrow now equal to six what is the value of this plus this you can say okay 6 into arrow nano root in 6 plus 3. 6 times 6, 36 plus 3 equal to 39. You wear a manner. I don't know what. <laughs>